everybody all right let's go ahead and let's make this game so I'm gonna go ahead and push next here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say this game is place then collect all right uh, we'll say for iPhone and I give it a production number make sure the language is Swift the game technology is sprite kit and the device is iPhone next and create once the project loads you can go ahead and push play up at the top there and it will run the project what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the game scene.swift because this is where all of our action happens. Go into the simulator, click around a bit, and look at that. It does indeed work. All right. You always want to make sure that your project works. So I'm going to go and I'm going to delete all of the extraneous code. So something like this. And once you're finished, it should look something similar to this. Okay. So we have the override function touches began, the override function did move to view, and the update. All right, so now we need to go and add in all of our game objects here. So we're going to add in a var, we'll call this block, make that equal to sk sprite node, and that will be our block here. Let's add in a size, we'll call this block size, make that equal to cg size, and We'll add in a width and a height. We'll make it 60 by 60. We can always change that later if we wish. And we'll say that we need a touched node is equal to SK node. And then we're going to add in our labels here. So we're going to go to LBL main is equal to SK label node. And then var LBL score is equal to SK label node, you can just push enter, var, and then LBL timer is equal to SK label node. Okay, so now we have our label set up here. Let's add in some colors. We'll add in our off black color, make that equal to UI color, and we'll make sure that it is our, you can add in any color you wish, but I'm going to add 0 0.2 for each one, the 1.0. We'll add in an off white color, make that equal to UI color, and we'll make this 0 0.98, 0 0.98, 0 0.98, 1.0. Then let's add in a couple of other colors here. Let's add in a um, green custom color, make that equal to UI color dot green color. And let's add in another color here. Uh, we'll make this green custom color and we'll make this orange custom color. Make that equal to UI color dot orange color. Okay, so now we have our color here. Now what we need to do is set up some game state variables. So we're going to say var is being placed is equal to true. Uh, var is collecting is equal to false. And then another one var is complete is equal to false as well. So we got is being placed, so you're placing, then is collecting, then is complete. Okay. Then we're going to add in a var here. We'll call this count down timer placed. Make that equal to seven. And then we'll also add in a var. We'll call this count down timer collected. Make that equal to five. All right, and then what we'll also do is we'll add in the score, make it equal to zero, because we're going to keep track of the score. And lastly, we're going to add in a var. We'll call this touch location, and make that equal to a CG point question mark in brackets here. Before we move on, let's go and let's take a look at this location here. We'll say this is touch location, and that way we'll we'll go and we'll set the touch location. All right, so let's go ahead and let's spawn the block. And what we'll do is we'll add in a function. We'll call this spawn block. And within this block, we're going to say block is equal to SK sprite node. And we're going to add in a color and a size. The color uh, will be, uh, we'll say this is green custom color. And the size will be block size. 
right? And then what we'll do is we'll go to block dot size is equal to block size. And this, you add this in here just in case you want to add in your own art later. All right, so we now have the block. Uh, we need a position dot x here. And we're going to say that block dot position dot x is equal to and then there's two ways we can go about this here. I'm going to go about the way that I like to do this. So I'm going to say touch location dot x. Now it's going to cause a problem. Or you can go to block dot position dot y and you can actually type out touch location dot y and then add in an exclamation point at the end of that. All right. So it's going to tell you to fix it with that exact fix there. So I like to just fix it with the Xcode's recommendation, but you can go ahead and type it out the way you uh, uh, this way if you wish. All right, let's go ahead. Let's add the block, and we're saying dot name is equal to block name. So we're going to add in a string to this block, and then we're going to go to self dot add child, and we're going to say block. Okay, so that way it will add the block at the touch location. So remember, we set up the touch location. So every time you touch it will uh, set that up here. Now in order to make that happen here, we're going to have to say in this four touches, we're going to say if is being placed is double equal to true and we're going to say that is collecting is double equal to false. So we're going to say if is being placed is equal to true, we will do spawn block. Okay, so we'll spawn the block and what we need to do is we need to, uh, for the most part, add to score here. So we're going to say score is equal to score plus one. And we're going to add to score. And let's go to the bottom here and update uh, the score here. So let's go to update or add, add in a function. We'll call this update score. Now within this function, I'm going to add in two slashes and a to do. We'll say update LBL score. Now the reason why we haven't done this yet is because we haven't set up an LBL score. So we could do that uh, right now if we want to. So let's set up our three main labels. We're going to say function and we're going to say spawn LBL main and within here we're going to go to LBL main is equal to SK label node and well the font name will be Futura. Okay. And um, we're going to say that LBL main dot font size is equal to 90. LBL main dot font color is equal to, and then we'll just say off white color. And then we need a position for this main here. So we're going to go to LBL main dot position is double equal to CG point. And we're going to say X and Y here, CG rect get mid X, and that's going to put it right in the middle. And then we're going to say CG rect get mid Y, and we're going to go to self.frame, and that's going to put it in the middle. But what we're going to do is we're going to add 250 to it, okay? And that's going to put it up to the top. We need some text here, so let's go to LBO main dot text is equal to lbl main dot text is equal to we'll say place blocks okay and that's it'll, it'll be telling the user what to do we're going to self dot add child lbl main and that will add it to the item there now i'm going to copy the the spawn uh, label here and then we're going to type in spawn lbl score so we're going to go and do exactly the same thing except instead of lbl main we're going to do lbl score so copy and paste all of these scores into the the uh the instead of lbl main now obviously we want something that's a little bit smaller in text and the off-white color can be the same what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 350 from the end, and that will put it near the bottom. Okay, so we now have the score. The last thing we need to do is add in the timer. So we'll say spawn LBL timer, and we're going to do the same thing, LBL timer. 
and we're going to go and just copy and paste this here. Now I know I realize I'm going a bit fast, but you can always just take a couple seconds to do that as well. So the other thing is we'll make the timer a uh, hundred because we can make it pretty big and the offset that we're going to be adding in is 250 so that should probably work here now let's hop up all the way to the top and in our, in our override function did move to view let's set up the background color so self dot background color is equal to off black color and then we're going to say in here we're going to say spawn lbl main spawn LBL score and spawn LBL timer, all right? So this pretty much starts off the project. This concludes the tutorial.